How's it going, everyone? Welcome back to part two of our Terraria Master Mode No Armor series. In today's video, we're going from mech bosses all the way to Moonlord. If you haven't seen the first part, be sure to check it out. With that being said, let's get right into it. So now that we are in hard mode, the first boss we want to take out is the Queen Slime. Now, before we get to that, there's a little bit of grinding to do, and it hurts quite a bit <laughs> to do this without armor, but that's just what we got to deal with in this playthrough. So the first weapon we want to get is the Onyx Blaster. The reason why I chose it is because range is really good, the weapon's strong, and it's not too hard to get compared to some of the other items. We also wanted wings, which he didn't actually end up using a lot for the actual fight, but I'll get to that in a moment. Now, for wings, I just went with Pixie Wings. It's basically the best that you can get at this time, if not the same as everything else, and it's pretty easy to get not too much difficulty there. Now, of course, the arena is the last thing we have to make before we are officially ready to start this boss fight. Now, it's very simple. It's just a massive platform in the air. It helps because we can dip down to avoid some projectiles if we need to. It's also a decent ways above the ground so that we don't have to deal with those ricocheting projectiles that the Queen Slime has. So overall, it works really well. All right, so as soon as we start the fight, you'll notice that we are not on our arena yet. And that's because I, you know, it's in the air and you have to spawn the boss in the hollow biome. So that was... <laughs> I mean, I guess not the greatest planning, because it wasn't even really that close to the uh, hallowed biome. But, uh, eventually we make it up, and then we're kind of good from there. Um, so, the reason why this works so well um, is because, again, we have that mount that we get from Master Mode while of Flesh. So, it's really only important in the second phase. The first phase doesn't really matter. The first phase of the fight is very, very easy. Uh, it's only when the boss gets that insane movement speed boost when uh, things get a little bit crazy. So... Yeah, and you also see that I'm actually using the Titanium Repeater for lots of this fight, and I think that the reason for that was just because it had uh, auto fire, so I don't have to keep on spamming left click. Um, and it wasn't like that much worse than the Onyx Blaster, so it was like, eh, good enough. Um, but yeah, the fight, it's, it's a very interesting fight, because it's either really easy if you have that mount, or it's actually quite difficult. Now, of course, the Unicorn Mount is the exact same, so if you have that, then you're good as well. The really only difficult part of this fight, if you have these mounts, is when you have to turn around. Now, of course, if you build a big enough arena, that won't happen. We had a fairly small arena, if you really think about it. <laughs> it wasn't that big. Um, so we had to turn around quite a few times, and that's where it can get scary, because you got to double back on the boss and on all those extra slimes, or all those slimes that are stuck on the platform. And if you mess up, then you can just die, especially when without armor, uh, it can get pretty bad. But overall, it's not too bad if you are playing careful. Die, 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 you're dead. Yes, okay, we did it, we did it. I thought I needed a bigger platform. We didn't. All right, let's go. <laughs> we actually killed a hard mode boss. It took us a while, but we did it. All right, so now we gotta talk about Skeletron Prime. So. One thing that I think goes unnoticed when you think of the no armor challenge is the fact that you miss out on a lot of damage. So obviously you're without a ton of defense, that's like a huge loss right there, but you also lose damage in whatever set bonus you would normally have with the armor, which means not only do the bosses take you out faster, but you also have to survive longer because you're doing less damage. Um, <laughs> so that can make things difficult. Now. We ran into this exact issue against Skeletron Prime, and that's because, well, Master Mode, lots of health, lots of damage, the boss is doing lots of damage, and we aren't doing anything, so this boss takes a very long time to kill. So if you look at the moon in the background, you can see just how long this is taking. I went ahead and sped up this fight a lot because, well, it took a while. Um, so basically, in this fight, the main issues were just like, watch out for the lasers, and then don't get it by the spinning head. And then uh, you're kind of good from there. And then obviously make sure you get as much damage in as you can. Because if not, the boss can just straight up despawn on you. Yes! <laughs> that actually happened. <laughs> it's daytime. It's daytime. It just turned daytime. <laughs> oh my god. So after that mess, it was clear to me we needed a stronger weapon that could dish out enough damage if we had any hope in defeating Destroyer within nighttime. So with the help of chat, we came up with the dart rifle, which is actually really good. Now it's, you can kind of think of it as like the new Stormbow a little bit. I mean, not quite. Uh, it's very different, but it sort of serves the same purpose. 
Now, you can use Curse Darts or Crystal Darts, and it works wonders against Destroyer. Now, we did exactly this, but the thing is, um, turns out Destroyer is pretty difficult in Master Mode. Oh, uh, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> Bye, Verbal. Oh, I'm dead. <laughs> Everything does so much. I need, a, I need a better arena. I need a better arena for that one. So what I ended up doing was building another platform above the first one, and then whenever Destroyer got close, I would basically fly up to it. Now, I said, hey, why not use the Ghost Skull mount? Because, you know, it's fast, it's it's good, <laughs> it worked before, so it could maybe work here, and it did. Uh, it was very effective, because we could just run away. The pro blazers that would attack us, which was a huge problem in the first attempt, weren't as big a deal because we had much more time to react because of how fast we were going. We also out, well don't, we don't quite outspeed Destroyer, but by running on this mount, it makes it so that Destroyer takes much longer to actually reach us, which means we have a, basically like a longer damage phase, if that makes sense. Um, so, with those two things combined, we were able to take out the boss without too much trouble. Uh, it was still pretty difficult, because again, things were hit really hard, and, you know, if you make a mistake, then, uh, you can, you know, you really pay for it. Every, every hit really hurts a lot, if you, if you couldn't tell. Um, but I also should mention, I was swapping between Crystal and Cursed Darts in my inventory. I think it was like 20, a stack of 20, and then they were alternating. So that the Crystal Darts helped a lot with the pros because they have the homing ricochet. And then the Cursed Darts do a lot of damage to Destroyer because of the trails that it leaves. So with those two, basically I could reliably take out probes and deal good damage without getting overwhelmed. So the fight went much better. And with that, we only have one mech boss left before we can take on Plantera. Okay. Yes! Okay, we did it, we did it! <laughs> I did not think we were gonna do that after the first time. That was- oh god. Is an expert? No, this is- this is Master Mode, dude. So with Destroyer Kill, that means we can get the Mega Shark. And the Mega Shark is pretty cool because it's- it's just good. And that's about all I have to say about it. Uh, we're gonna use it against Twins because I was thinking, okay, Dart Rifle is good. I don't know if it's gonna be the best for Twins though. I think the- I was pretty sure that the uh, Mega Shark would be able to output more DPS. And so, we got all the materials and then we're ready to take on the Twins. Okay, now in terms of how difficult this fight was, it was pretty difficult um, with the Goat Skull mount. Again, this mount's really good. So obviously, if you're not playing Master Mode, just use a Unicorn mount. It's really helpful. Um, it just makes it a lot easier to, you know, <laughs> avoid bosses. Uh, I could have used the Black Spot, but that would have been a lot cheesier. Um, so I didn't, and I didn't feel like grinding though. So there's that. But anyways, yeah, with the Goat Skull mount and the same arena we used just now for Destroyer, it wasn't too bad. That being said, uh, I did get buffs again. Um, I don't believe I was actually using as all like the buffs that I could have for the earlier mech bosses. So I could have made it easier on myself if I did. But I made sure to get like Endurance, uh, Wrath, that sort of thing, which I usually, well, sometimes will skip out on. So all in all, it wasn't the uh, hardest fight in the world. Again, because the twins don't have an insane amount of health, uh, we're, we aren't really on that time crunch. So if you prepare properly and don't get hit a ton, then you're kind of gonna be good. I, and also the Cursed Flame debuff also is something that like really racks in the damage with the twins. So that obviously ignores armor anyways because it's a debuff. So it doesn't actually matter all that much. Uh, or it's not as different as the other boss fights because of the reason. So I didn't, I mean, while the fight was still fairly hard, it wasn't as bad as some of the other ones in this playthrough. Die, die. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, <laughs> we did it. Next up is Blantera. So I really need to prepare because in the past I've 100% struggled with this boss fight. And uh, that was before Master Mode and with armor equipped. So I went ahead and got the Chlorophyte Shoppo. The plan is to use it with Holy Arrows and it should hopefully get the job done. And then obviously we don't have to worry about armor. So that's not an issue. And our, our accessories don't really change either. So after we get the Shoppo, it's just Life Fruit build the arena, and then we're good to go. As far as the first phase goes, there's not a whole lot going on. And for those wondering why I'm using the dart rifle right now, it's just to save ammo. So we make sure we have enough holy arrows to get through the end of the fight. Because again, first phase, kind of easy. And there's really nothing that can hit us <laughs> at this point in time. But when the second phase happens, that's when things really start to go downhill. Let me out. No. 
I didn't mean to dash there. I didn't mean to dash there. I didn't. <laughs> No, I didn't mean to dash there. <laughs> I had that. I had it. I had it. I had it. I did not mean to dash into his face, her face. I don't even care. I don't even care. So, yeah, that happened. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, it was rough. It was very rough, especially at the time. But after this, I realized, okay, I can do this. I just have to play a little more careful. We'll give it another go on another date, and then everything will be fine. So that's exactly what we did. Yes, okay, we got it. Damn, dude. Damn, dude, that is so, so stressful. <laughs> we got it, though. First, first, oh, jeez, I'm about to die to jungle bats. All right, we're good. So now that plant has been taken out, we can head straight into the temple and check out Gollum. Now, Gollum's not traditionally difficult, like, at all, I would say. Uh, very easy boss, pretty straightforward, in my opinion. Um, not a whole lot you have to do here, but... I will remind you, master mode, right? We also don't have armor. <laughs> and then we also happen to get a pretty interesting uh, boss room, altar room. I think this arena, well, this, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> it sucks so bad. <laughs> this might be really hard. All right, hold on. Hold on. I think this might, be, do, you get, do you guys think Golem's going to be the hardest boss this whole run? Because of this room? I feel like it, like, kind of might make it the hardest. I think we try it out now. Because I just realized we have our buffs. Everything's blocked off. If we fail, then we actuate. And then, yeah. Let's let's do that. I think we have enough ammo. Didn't get rid of the traps or anything, but like... Should be okay. Dude, dude, no. I'm crammed. I can't, I can't dodge. <laughs> let's bring him over here. Let's bring him... Oh my... So yeah, this fight ended up being actually quite difficult because of that combination of just circumstances that we found ourselves in. Uh, if one of these things was not true, we'd be okay. Like, if it was a master mode, if we could use armor, or if we had a bigger boss room, any of those three, we would be fine. Uh, but because we don't, we are kind of getting screwed over. So, logically, the best thing to do here is to just expand this arena. So, I went ahead and just quickly actuated a ton of blocks in the altar so that we have a much bigger space to work with and then the boss fight became much much easier now one thing that you'll probably notice during all this is that how long it is taking to take down Gollum. um again we're using the shoppo it's got unreal we have holy arrows now i don't actually remember if we had menacing uh accessories on at this point um i believe we did there was a period of time where i hadn't reforged anything just because i was out of gold but i believe at this point we had all menacing um, as far as I know, pretty sure. But yeah, like it's just taking so long. This is sped up by three times. Um, Gollum does not usually take nearly this long. And of course, everything hit is hitting harder. So yeah, when you know it's a fairly hard challenge when you're struggling against Gollum. That's 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 basically all I have to say. This is Gollum. We, we did it. We did it. Hardest spots down. Literally, literally, that was actually hard. <laughs> I had to try it so bad. <laughs> Oh god, we got it though. So next up in terms of boss progression, it's a little hazy. I usually like to do do Fishron, then Empress. Um, some people might do Empress earlier. In fact, I, I because you can right after I believe it's Pantera. I think it doesn't. In my mind, it doesn't make sense to do it before um, before Gollum because of the the power of the drops. But I think um, after Gollum, any time after Gollum is fine. We actually ended up fighting it a little later than that in this playthrough. But we decided to do Fishron. Now, here's the thing. I didn't really upgrade anything before fighting this boss. Now, is that a smart thing to do? Not at all. <laughs> Especially when we're doing a challenge run. Um, but the reason, there was a very specific reason why I did that. And that's because events in challenges like these especially are so tedious, annoying, and just like an awful experience overall because all the minions destroy you like they will destroy you so fast so the plan before was get chain gun and then i'm like wait frost moon no don't want to do that and i was like okay well we can get the tactical shotgun no postpone their dungeon never mind don't do that because that's pretty much just as bad um, so all of those things, we, we didn't even get Master Ninja Gear, we're still, if you notice, we're still using our Shield of Cthulhu dash through all this. So yeah, it was really stupid not to do 
But I feel very confident with this boss. It's one of my favorite bosses in the game, if not my favorite. Um, lots of experience with it, so I was like, you know what? I think I can do this. We can wait, we can get a fish run drop and to help us grind for those better items later on if we decide to go for them. So that's exactly what we did. And uh, here's how it went. Oh, you're doing the thing already? One, one, two, one, two, three, one, one, two, one, two, Oh, three. One. One. Two. <laughs> One. Two. Three. One. One. Two. It's not dead. I thought I'd die. There we go. I did it. I told you. I didn't need chain gun. <laughs> we just had to count one, two, three, boys. That's all we needed. Let's go. Let's go. We did it with like a shot bow. <laughs> that was all. That was close. That was really close. I, I knew I could do it. I knew I could do it with this gear. I'm telling you guys, I'm telling you guys, we did it. You, no, I didn't, we did it. So we ended up getting the Tempest Staff from Duke Fishron, which is probably the worst drop we could have gotten because that's not gonna help whatsoever with the upcoming boss fights. Now, originally the plan was to fight Empress right here, which we did end up trying uh, right after Duke Fishron. Now the thing is, again, I haven't gotten any better weapons because, well, it's very hard to do. In fact, in just a moment, you'll see what events are like in this run. Um, so I decided, you know what, let's just try it without, but our damage was so low, Master Mode Empress has so much health that it just wasn't going to happen, um, within a reasonable amount of time. Now, looking back, I definitely could have done it now that I've learned the fight a little better, um, and have actually done the enraged version with Summoner, like, I feel much better about the fight, but the main reason why I didn't is because... I was under the impression that Lace Wings were much harder to get. I didn't know how fast they would spawn with the Battle Potion and Water Candle. So that's why I ended up pushing it for later. Um, but we do come back to it, I, uh, just not for a little bit. I might want to get it. If it's, if it's faster than this... Then I might want to. Oh, do we do it? Guys, do we do it? <laughs> Quick, guys. Guys, do I try it? We were going to doing cultists, but it could be very bad. Yes, I'm seeing a lot of yeses. Fine, we'll do it. The only thing is, if we get stuck during <laughs> during uh, Martians, we get literally screwed. Because then we just get spawn camped. So let me fix... Oh, they're already here. Damn. So yeah, a little bit of foreshadowing there. This event sucked. <laughs> it was awful. Okay, absolutely garbage. I never liked this event. But this specific time has made me just despise playing this event. Uh, everything is so annoying. The lasers, all the enemies, it's just like the stupid amount of damage is inc it's crazy. That's one thing. The other thing is I can't do any damage to them. Like if you look at how long it takes me to actually kill these enemies, it takes forever. So I ended up dying over and over and over again. And the, basically the whole stream at this point was just me dying to the Martian Madness event. Um, and this went on for literally an hour. This event was here in my world for over an hour of, it's just, it was so bad. <laughs> it was so bad. Never doing that ever again if I don't have decent gear or at least a lot of, I don't know weapons health or you know an, an arena set up or something because this was this was so bad uh the, the worst part is we didn't even get anything from it we were not strong enough to take out a martian saucer so not only did we use up an hour of my time just trying to take out this event uh we also didn't actually get anything from it so it was really bad very bad poor decision that I made here um, but anyways back to cultus where we get to take them out and then fight another amazing event that everyone loves the pillars as you can see I did actually get the tactical shotgun before doing this fight because I figured okay we our damage is so bad it's awful we need something um, and the glorified ammo should help a decent bit now you'll notice like cultus is I mean, again, like all boss fights in this run, it's it's gonna take a while. Uh, there's It actually has a fair bit of health, and we basically just have, I don't know, no damage, like at all. That's all there is to it. We just don't have any damage. 
Um, so that's kind of what we're dealing with. I also had the shop on with Aguerreros to kind of help, you know, take it down a little bit faster. But overall, while it was scary at some points, um, it wasn't too, too bad. Uh, definitely a good, good little intermission between like Empress and Moon Lord. Um, so that way we can take down the cultists and then get started on some pillars. It's funny too because this is probably like one of the only times I've ever gotten hyped after beating cultists, which is you know interesting because it's cultists. It's not supposed to be that hard, but you know when you're doing challenges like this, it's it's, it's still pretty hype. No. Yes. 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 That's a W. <laughs> Cultus is down. We did it, guys. We did it. Are you proud of me? All right, so now that we've killed Cultus, we can go ahead and take on some pillars. Now, obviously, since we got more of a ranger setup going on, we're going to take a vortex first, go ahead and get the vortex speeder. Now, as in terms of pillars as a whole and how difficult it is, it's, like, really bad, but from the perspective of someone who's beaten pillars without accessories as well as with the sand gun uh it wasn't even close now again it was still awful <laughs> so just just to put into perspective it's still like really bad um because everything just kills us really quick but the thing is we don't have to sacrifice mobility and we have at least somewhat adequate damage um throughout the pillars so it wasn't terrible i end up taking out all of the pillars get the vortex speeder and then we actually go ahead and attempt moon moon lord at this point i was certain i was not going to beat it like whatsoever um so i was sure that wasn't gonna happen so i figured okay it's fine we can just give it an attempt get a little practice in before going up against empress and then we'll kind of just see how it goes so that is exactly what we did now i did end up using the black spot which we got pretty much just before the uh pillar started um, I did end up using it because, well, it's really fast and I heard really good things. This is, all of this was recorded, uh, pretty much just after the, after 1.4 came out. Very, very close to the release, so all of this was streamed not too long after. So I hadn't had a bunch of experience yet with all the new items. So I figured, okay, everyone's saying this thing's good, we should get it, try it out. And it turned out to work pretty well. Um, that being said, I wasn't used to the movement. Um, I... I guess just the experience that I had with, with this fight was not with this strat at all. Um, it's much different. So, which you'll see how I usually do it uh, later on in the video, or at least like a variation. But that's why I kind of just failed <laughs> really badly. It's because I didn't really have the experience required uh, with the strategy. So it ended up just messing me up because I was like half trying to do what I normally do. And then half just trying to use black spot and it was very weird so yeah it didn't go well at all but we'll be back after fighting empress to properly do this fight it was close but i don't think this is gonna work i don't think this is gonna work now we have empress of light now again i did use the vortex speeder for this fight um did i have to probably not like definitely not i could have done it without the only reason why i did is because i thought lace wings would be harder to come by which Later, like literally a week ago, I found out that they weren't. They're actually quite easy to get with the battle potion and water candle. So that was a huge mistake on my part. But yeah, we ended up using the vortex speeder. If you actually look at the damage though, it's actually not that much better than the than like what you would be using at this time anyways, like chain gun shroom and armor. It's relatively comparable. So it's not like we were at a huge advantage, but it's a lot easier than what we I guess should have been using. Um, again, if I knew how easy it was to get the lace wings, I would have just used like a tactical shotgun or the chain gun and just waited a little bit. But regardless of that, that is Empress of Light with no armor. It was quite tough, but when you consider the fact that the fight can be done with, uh, you know, during the daytime, it's not that bad. Now, some people might wonder why I didn't do it during the daytime, and it's because I can survive a few hits rather than just one. And the Terra Prisma wouldn't, I don't think it'd be that useful for us if we don't have like a summoning loadout. So it made sense to me to just like have it a little bit easier, be able to not take quite as many hits and just go for the uh, regular kill. Yes, yes, that counts. We got it. <laughs> See, if we just have a weapon that does, isn't doing two damage, we can do it. Could I have done it with attack shotgun? Probably. 
Would I have had to grind more lace wings? Most definitely, but we got it. We got it. <laughs> and of course, we only have one more boss before we've taken out every single boss in master mode without ever using armor. And that is Moonlord. So Moonlord is going is, is very tough. Um, <laughs> everything hits really hard. The uh, death ray doesn't quite one shot us, but what if we're not at basically max health than it will? Um, all the other lasers, I think, do 200 plus damage, and that includes like the eyes and everything. So it, it's it's a lot. Um, <laughs> it's quite a tough fight. But the plan is to use asphalt and asphalt bridge. We built a massive one across the world, put some campfires up to just help a little bit with regen, and that's kind of all we really did. So the reason why I went for asphalt over the black spot is because I figured, okay, well black spots like vertical movement speed isn't the greatest and I figured it's just I'm just more used to this type of movement against bosses and not using mounts so this was just the better option so we could just speed away and then whenever we need to go up and over or ride discord through it's just a very simple thing to do it works it works pretty well now the one thing is just like don't speed away too much from Moonlord because then everything teleports to you and that can make things troublesome because you basically want as much distance between you and the boss as possible so you don't start getting hit by these lasers that you just can't react to um so you want to get as far away as possible without moon lord teleporting which is like the only difficult part so the death ray we can either rot a discord through or we can go up and over both work just as well it really depends on what i'm feeling like and whether i've used the rot of discord recently because if I'm a little late on the ride of Discord, we could be <laughs> in some trouble. And if I go up and over, then there's are other things that I need to dodge as well and worry about. The other thing is, this obviously, our world is only so big. So we need to make sure that when we it comes time to turn around, we don't get screwed over. And once all the true eyes are out, um, that's when things start to get a little bit more difficult in terms of turning around. Um, so... There is that. Now, as with all of the bosses, you'll notice that our damage output is really low compared to normal. So if you look at the health bar as we go, keep in mind this is sped up a little bit, but the health bar is barely going down. So we basically have to survive for a lot longer. Now, that wouldn't be so bad if we weren't also taking a ton of damage from everything. So everything just hurts way way more very very difficult um to get right it's basically just be very consistent don't let anything don't let too many things hit you and especially not that death ray if that death ray touches you it's it's over <laughs> you're just done uh that's gg so just as long as that doesn't happen we're pretty good and we were able to get through this fight without too many troubles this time around there we go there we go we did it we did it we did it first try well, it wasn't first try. It was first try today. First try with this strat. But it worked. It worked. Let's go, dude. Let's go. Let's go. No armor. Finally. No armor master mode. And that's going to do it for today, guys. Hopefully, you all enjoyed. If you did, feel free to like and subscribe. And with that being said, thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.